Colton, Scott, in this competition, we were inspired by history's legends. Now we ask that you continue to be inspired by history's legends as we send you back to your home forge to make one of these. It's actually not Excalibur. The sword in the stone is a medieval broadsword. Good luck, Smiths. We'll see you in four days. Today, I'm making a European broadsword. I'm going to do two types of twisted Damascus going opposite directions and a linear bar for the center. I am very happy to be back home. I know that I have all the proper tooling to do stuff very quickly but I think it's gonna be a very challenging competition. It's the end of day one. I got the uh, twisted Damascus done. I've gotta cut them to size and then clean up the edges that I'm gonna re-weld. That's where it's at right now. I'm feeling pretty nervous going into the clinch, really hoping I don't get any warps or cracks. Oh, it's taking a warp. I'm really struggling here. I'm bending it, seeing if it will straighten. I'm heating it up with a torch and trying to drop water droplets on it to see if I can set it back into shape. I finally get this warp out by taking my pair of tongs and pushing down on the sword. That straightened it out a little bit. Trying to fix the warp really set me back, but Tomorrow, I'm going to come in with a fresh mind and see what I can get done. Yesterday was really productive. I got the three bars of Damascus put together, forged out to a sword, and then I got it ground down. Today's most important thing is getting that heat treat done. If I can get it done early, I can focus on the handle for the rest of the build. It's pretty straight, and it definitely heat treated. I'm just gonna clamp it while it cools. I thought I had the heat treat right, but unfortunately, after I pull it up, it's got a nice warp in it. Oh, <sighs> It looks like I might have to heat treat again. The one difference is I'm going to use my quench tank as my tempero. I'm going to get the oil up to the same temperature as I would the oven, to about 450 degrees, then hold my sword in it for at least 10 minutes so it gets a nice soak. Pull it out of the quench, and comes out almost perfect. All I have to do tomorrow is fit and finish, guard, handle, pommel. The theme of day three is handles and guards. All that needs to be done is etching and sharpening on the blade. Well, I'm going to acid etch the blade now, let it sit in there for a few minutes. So the top of the blade is not hardened as much as I would like it to be. I want to make sure that it's not going to take a bend or a set. It seems to have held up pretty well. So the last thing I need to do is the handle. It's the end of day three. I have a finished blade. I got the guard fit up. The handle's shaped like I want it. All I have left to do is the pommel, and then it's done. Beginning of day four, I'm ready to get the sword finished. First, I need to get the holes drilled on the guard and the pommel. And that's all I need. It's looking pretty good. End of day four, this broadsword is built, and I am ready to go have dinner with my wife. All right, Blazers, welcome to the keel test. It's time to get medieval on your broadsword. I'm going to take your weapons and deliver some slashes and blows on this ballistics dummy. Colton, you're first. You ready for this? Yeah. Let's have fun. I'm feeling confident about my sword, but I really don't know what could go wrong. I, I've never made a sword before. All right, Colton, first up, I really appreciate the balance you have with this, because it's easy to wield with forward slashes, backhands, and thrusting with it. Your edge is sharp. 
Now, your handle, it's just a little bit too tall for me in the tense of it's a wider here, but I can still get a good grip on it. And more importantly, this sword with its balance, it will kill. Thank you. All right, Scott, it's your turn, so are you ready? Yes, sir. Let's do this. I'm ecstatic to see Doug playing with my sword because it's exciting to see what it can do to the human body, what it's built for. It's got first stop. That is beautiful to look at. Thank you. Now, the wire wrap does give me some kind of contours to hold on to. Every slice, or should I say chop, dug deep into this ballistic dummy. Overall, the kind of weapon and damage you can do with this, it will kill. Thank you. All right, gentlemen, it's time for the strength test. Now, to test the strength and overall construction of your blades, we have the battering ram chop. Colton, you're up first. You ready? All right. OK. I'm worried that my blade is almost too light. I made this blade for slicing, not chopping trees down. So Colton, there's some definite issues in the heat treat. Right here at the guard, you picked up a, a bend, and it's not a warp. This sword is now bent. Uh, and also up here where the sword is the thinnest right at the end of the fuller. It's a beautiful piece, but uh, that's a major problem. Oh, man, that's severe. Do you feel like I could continue testing? I, I wouldn't. I mean, it's like a gun barrel that's already curved. I don't want to want to fire something like that. I don't know if it's that extreme. If it's here, it's one thing, but it's always starts at the handle. Yeah, I mean, it's, it's already failed, as far as I'm concerned. I'm seeing the judges talking, and it's nerve wracking. All right, Colton, there's a problem with your blade. The judges have given your blade a vote of no confidence. In other words, it held together, but it's not safe to move forward in testing. That doesn't mean that you've lost this competition. Scott, your blade still has to hold up in this strength test. Dave? I am very nervous. <laughs> I am very, very nervous. I don't know how it's going to do. All I can do is trust that I built it correctly. So right off, Scott, everything's solid and tight. Uh, all in all, I think you did a great job. Nicely done. Thank you. Colton, unfortunately for you, this means that your blade doesn't make the cut and you cannot be the Forge and Fire champion. For that reason, I'd like to invite you to shake our hands, shake Scott's hand, and then please leave the Forge. Come on forward, my friend. How old are you? 18. Hey, man, the world's yours. Hey. I knew the bend could have possibly happened. He outperformed me, and that's that's okay with me. I can be outdone. Good job. Thank you. I might not have won Forged in Fire, but I've learned so much as a bladesmith, and I have grown as a person doing this competition. Scott, congratulations. You are the Forged in Fire champion, and that is a title that comes with a check for $10,000. Good job, my friend. Thank you. Come on forward. Excellent. Thank you. I won. My blade survived. I feel ecstatic, amazed, however you want to say. I hope that by doing this, I can 
go full-time bladesmithing. 